what we must always realize is that we're in fucking control. And the second we don't put one foot in front of the motherfucking other, we're not going to get ours. We're not getting it. Nobody's giving it to us. The real ones fucking realize that success flows and stems from ideas. And since ideas are limitless, success is limitless. Our vision has no cap to it. There is no ceiling. I learned this in the realest of ways, in the worst of environments. Never fucking fall victim emotionally to the negative events around you. Tap into your mental toughness and learn to thrive in any fucking environment. The good guy doesn't always win and justice won't always fucking prevail. It won't. But if you're in control of your attitude, your mindset, you will always be able to dictate your outcome. I say it all the time. I say it all the time. I'm going to say it again. Repetition is strength. Every morning right here after my fucking workout, I solidify my beliefs, my answers. I know what my triggers are and I fucking make sure I put in the work and do the exercises to combat them. I want to be a more positive, better person, but I know I'm negative. I know I'm intense. I know I'm violent. So I have to solidify these fucking beliefs that I'm going to be a better person, that I'm going to be fucking more compassionate, that I'm going to push people to be better, that I'm not going to draw myself into negativity. Like I said, I'm the worst. I have that trait. But we can win, and when we win, it means that much fucking more. So we know it's coming. It's coming today. Everything that fucking, everything that plagues you in your life is coming today. You may not have the negative traits like I do. You may have a problem with asserting yourself and being more confident. So get your ass in the gym. Go do something that you fear doing and overcome that shit. I'm not me if I don't get up and earn it. If I don't get up and work on my body. If I don't reflect if I don't just feel that aura from within, that shit coming from the universe that just gives you the chills when you think about what you could create with your own action. You know when a thought provokes a physical feeling? A thought, a powerful thought about your future, when it provokes a physical reaction like goosebumps, the chills, whatever the fuck you call it, or it brings you to tears, that's your path. What else more do you need? How many more signs do you need? What do we follow other than that? I was thinking about what I could be and it fucking just made me, it gave me the craziest vibration and the craziest feeling ever. That was the sign. We don't need nothing else than that. People tell me they don't have energy or they don't have motivation and I just say, well, why the fuck are you talking to yourself like that? They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, why the fuck are you talking to yourself like that? Positivity charges us. Negativity drains the fuck out of us. I can't even be around negativity because I got shit to do. I need my energy. I don't need you draining me. I gotta go. I got work to do. Do you know that negativity will make you physically fucking sick? It drops your frequency in the human body so low that you get physically sick. I never get sick. Never. Ever. Because I never let my frequency drop like that. I'm in tune with how I'm feeling, my frequency and my energy, and I know how to change it. I spent so much time alone, I was just, I, had, I was at a heightened state of awareness to these things. That's all I had. So my frequency is raised by eating less, by not chasing that high with that equal low. When you get in that low state, it's, it's harder to come back up. So you just stay level, just stay level. Don't seek those highs. Like I said, goodness is uneventful. It does not flash. It glows. We do not need these peaks and valleys. We don't need this. This fucks us off. It's harder to come back up out of that. Just stay level. But the thing is, as you raise your frequency by exercise, by reflection, positive thoughts, choosing positive thoughts over negative ones, and keeping your food intake low, but, but adequate, don't do that stupid shit where you try to rush it. Just a quick reminder for all of us today, because we all fall victim to this. I do it. We all do it. Don't fucking magnify that one thing in your life that ain't perfect. Life ain't perfect. We don't need it to be. There's an underlying fucking, there's an underlying gift when we overcome that. There's something to be learned. Life's happening for us. It's not happening to us. You have a great day.